Welcome to To Furious Toys. Here we're going to be taking a look at the Father Christmas from the Figura Obscura line from Four Horsemen Studios. Let's take a peek. There on the left hand side we got some pretty sweet artwork of a reindeer in a snowy landscape. There is also the Figura Obscura branding and various websites. There on the right there is the Figura Obscura branding again as well as a holiday tree with a starlight ornament at the top. Dead center on the front there we have a painting of Father Christmas as well as the Horseman logo there at the bottom. On the bottom we have the barcode, another Horseman logo and all of the legal information. And on the top we have a window horseman logo. The outside of the package comes off and on the inside of it there is a painting of a landscape with some snow covered houses. There is more landscape paintings here on the part of the package that was covered by that outside slip cover and on the package you can see Father Christmas flying high in the sky. The back part of the outside slip cover has a pretty sweet painting of Father Christmas there at the top and a nice bio there in the middle. He is known by many names. Chris Kringle, St. Nicholas, Grandfather Frost, Weinachtmann, Babo Natale, Papa Noel, Sinterklaas, Santa, Father Christmas. Whatever moniker you know him by and whatever legends you have heard, one similarity across them all is that of a benevolent soul who brings joy to the children of the world. In some of these stories, he is a plump and jolly old elf, while in others, he is a kind and generous man of the cloth. In other much older tales, he is a spirit of nature, friend to goodly creatures, large and small. There is great magic in these stories. It is a fantastical magic, like the spectacle of reindeer who can fly and toy factories hidden in the northernmost part of the world. Beyond these miraculous tales, however, there is also a very real magic in the holiday season. It is the power of giving, for Santa Claus is the spirit of generosity, and all who believe in his lessons and do good in his name help spread the magic of Father Christmas. Peeking through the window in no particular order, we can see an alternate head, a lamplight, a little elf doll, a trumpet, a drum, and Santa Claus in his majestic robes. Not a Santa hat, but this hood is pretty nice. The satchel here is pretty nice. I uh, appreciate that nutcracker. Snow mound for planting the tree. I love this shepherd's crook staff here. This uh, design is pretty great. The horsemen always nail it when doing these wooden patterns. It twists. Does it come apart? It's not. I'm afraid to break it. It's very tough. Here we have two holly crowns. I can't really tell what the difference in them are. Maybe there's one for each Santa head that came? The world may never know. This looks like the trunk for the tree. Just plant it here in the snow mound. I don't know about that super long beard. I think this is the head I'm going to go with. This little elf doll is proper creepy. Is it a doll or is he hauling one of his elves around with him? This little drum here is a pretty solid design. Clean paint. Got the little hook to hook it to his belt. Is the trumpet here meant to be a gift or is it something that Santa himself plays? For me it invokes thoughts of the Christmas invasion from Doctor Who. This candlelight hanging lamp is an absolute gorgeous design and the Christmas tree successfully freed all the parts to put this tree together it's flocked and pieces of it are coming off on my hands there now it's put together not bad looking he has been freed yeah that beard that beard is too much this Santa robe is very well made. He's got some massive pockets, some clean stitch lines. You gotta get this beard out of the way. Oh, that's much better. Looks so much better. I really don't know how to articulate how good looking this uh, robe is. How is this belt attached? Oh, there we go. Pretty sure that was on upside down. That flap there was facing upwards. 
we can get this robe off and that under robe and then we can get a better look at the articulation on the body here nice i wasn't expecting that clasp there holding it in place i'm clearly not a master at the one hand undoing of the clasp push his arms back here so we can get the coat to slide straight back Santa's got some thin arms. He also appears to be wearing some leather. Santa's a leather daddy. All right, let's get this purple robe off now. It's only Velcro. Easier than that clasp. Oh, wow, leather corset. Santa's misrepresenting. This belly's not going to shake like a bowl full of jelly. His head is well proportioned for when he's wearing that suit, but this body, the head looks a little oversized. All right, let's peek at this articulation. Beard's gonna hit her downward motion, but he can look up that far. The head rotates 360 while looking upwards. Downward motion to speak of. Arm goes up at the shoulder that far. You can do a full 360 at the shoulder. There's no bicep cut, but the elbow bends at a 90 degree angle. The wrist rotates 360 degrees and folds palm in that far and palm out that far. The gauntlet gets in the way of it moving outward. Let's get these arms out of the way and we can look at the waist here. The diaphragm, it rotates 360 degrees. Get that back on. At the upper torso, he can bend forward that far. The lower torso doesn't seem to move very much, forward or back, but it does rotate full 360 degrees. Can't really get it to go forward, but it looks like it bends back. Yeah, he bends back pretty far. Whoops, I knocked off his groin protection. Little peg hole where that loincloth pegs into place. Pushes in like that. Let's check out these legs. He has the ability to do the full splits. Leg kicks forward and then out that far. There is a thigh rotation. 90 degree bend at the knee here. Here at the ankle it folds down and up. Rotates at the top of the ankle. Is there a forward facing pin? can't tell oh no oh there it goes yeah forward facing pin for ankle articulation get him straightened up and dressed here for height comparisons let's take another look at the staff it's got to come apart there oh i guess i wasn't pulling hard enough first time around let's go ahead and give him an action pose right here real quick without that bulky suit in the way Let's peek in the sack here and see what he's brought for all the good girls and boys. Gift one here, we've got a helmet that looks like it goes to a suit of armor. Gift two, we got a, another helmet for another suit of armor. This one looks designed for a puppy dog. Maybe it's for this guy when he grows up. This is a cute little sculpt. Paint's on point. Can't imagine painting something that small. Somebody's getting a toy duck for Christmas. I went and praised the paint job on that wolf, and the duck here has got a chip in his paint. Sculpt has a lot of imperfections as well. First comparison we have is Krampus, the first figure from the Figura Obscura line from the Four Horsemen. Next up we got the Headless Horseman, the second offering from the Figura Obscura line from the Four Horsemen. Oh no, I almost forgot to do the height measurement. Getting the ruler back here, we see that he stands at six and one quarter inches. Gotta be careful pulling this out, don't wanna knock anything over. Placing Krampus, we have Deathstorm from McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. The Headless Horseman is replaced by Hal Jordan from NECA Toys. Here we have the classified series G.I. Joe Sergeant Slaughter from Hasbro. Switching to more holiday themed figures, we have the Holiday Edition Gomez from the 112 Collective by Mezco Toys. Next up, I got the Crackshot figure from Fortnite, the legendary series by Jazzwares. Followed up by another Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary Series figure, Slushy Soldier. The rest of them are just going to be unopened figures because I have yet to open them. 
This is more for the aesthetics than the height comparison since they're in the box. First up we got the Holiday Edition Clone Trooper, followed by the Holiday Edition Mandalorian Warrior. Subsequently we got the Snow Trooper Holiday Edition, followed by the Holiday Edition Storm Trooper, and the Holiday Edition Protocol Droid. Next we've got the Holiday Edition Sith Trooper as well as the Phase 2 Clone Trooper. And last but not least we got the Holiday Edition Wookiee looking like an abominable snowman. I think I stated in my video about the Headless Horseman how whenever I went to place my order I made mistakes and it almost cost me. The orders always sell out so quickly so I get in a rush and I make mistakes. As soon as I went through all the motions, I hit the checkout button and hit pay and the window just closed and I wasn't sure if the order went through or not. I was placing the order on my phone so I went back to the website and the items were still in the cart so I went through the checkout process again. I had ordered an all in and just one of the figures by itself. I went back and looked at my placed orders and I had two different orders for both sets of figures. There was a limit of one all-in per household and I got nervous thinking they were going to cancel both orders because I ordered the all-in twice. I was pretty sad about it so I sent an email immediately asking them to please not cancel both orders. I guess that they loosened the restrictions though because they didn't sell as fast as they thought they would. I still needed to cancel one of those orders though because of budgetary reasons. All that being said, I am super stoked to have this figure in hand. It is super gorgeous. I love the robe that Santa is rocking. It looks amazing. I'm a real big fan of the candlelight lamp hanging from the shepherd's crook. I wonder if I can modify it to uh, emit a little bit of light. Still not too sure why we got two identical versions of that holly crown. I'm glad we got two different head options there though because I don't really care for the beard on the one head. Had I not had a second option though, I'm pretty sure I would have loved it. The included tree is a bit small, but it's still pretty nice to have. As always, I appreciate anybody who stuck with me this far. If you like what I'm doing here, please let me know by leaving some comments or pressing that thumbs up button. Subscribing is the best way to help. All of those actions will allow me to grow as a content creator as well as motivate me to get videos out quicker and more often. Criticisms or suggestions are also welcome. You can do that by commenting below or letting me know by reaching out to me on Popurious Toys on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, thank you for joining me here at Topurious Toys.